my understanding is that some people in the NSA want me to get put in a mental hospital, um, which would r involve me being forced to take drugs that would ruin my brain and would ruin my ability to make music for the rest of my life. And the reason they want to put me in a mental hospital is because of, of the accusations I've made. But the reality is, number one, we all know that I was censored on SoundCloud and that someone was hacking SoundCloud to make it so that no one knew that anybody was listening to my music. Number two, I tried to buy um, recording equipment to make my music sound better through this guy named Matt who um, told me that the reason that the FBI did so much mean stuff to me is because my people had made me look guilty. And when I did that, he ripped me off and he sent me a bunch of broken equipment, even though he owned a recording studio so he could test the equipment. So he, and, and what he told me is, I know we're never gonna be friends again after he robbed me. And that was for about $800 worth of equipment. And then when I was in college, I got a job working for the Department of Homeland Security. And that was when I was sharing an office with a guy who wrote the President's Daily Briefing. His name's Eric. And I've asked everyone to email me so I can give them a list of people to contact. Zero emails have come. I got one email from the attorney, the, the attorney general from New Mexico, which said, I received your letter, but it was just like, no, it actually said, your letter has been entered into our system, but it didn't actually ask me any questions. And I would have loved for him to say, um, who should I contact? And so when I was working for the Department of Homeland Security, and that's when the NSA showed up in my office and they were intimidating me and trying to scare me because I caught them hacking me, I bought this. And I bought an SM7B microphone, which is the microphone I use to record that song, I Like When We Escape, and my, all my Glass Rose music. And I bought this because this is what I needed to make the interface work. And do you know what happened? Um, they sent me this broken piece of equipment. And if you're a law enforcement person that has some engineers that would like to look at this, I would love for you guys to open this thing up and figure out why it's broken. I have a feeling someone cut a wire. I ordered it from Amazon and I didn't know that this didn't work until I went to go sell the SM7B microphone and my, my preamp and then the guy tested it and he was like, your equipment's broken. And I didn't know it was broken. And it was really embarrassing. Like you, you go to sell someone broken equipment without knowing it's broken. I, I like that, that can be a dangerous situation. So all I'm saying is they have robbed me twice of music equipment. Like sending me broken equipment is, is robbing me. And then they have censored me. And then on Facebook, I had 60 followers, but then my professor to, like mentions what I said on, in my, in my glass roads group. All I'm saying is like, and I, like, everyone's been trying to shut down my music for a long time because they're afraid of me becoming popular as a musician because they know what they've done, which is I did a hunger strike protesting the FBI giving free drugs to middle schoolers. And next thing you know, Robert Mueller got fired. And more than that, um, I, I have accused the NSA of being very involved with spying on people. Like they have agents in the United States. They have like undercover cops that are working in the United States that are like, doing field work. They're not just listening. They're not just um, linguists and stuff like that. They are actually doing field work. They're like CIA. And they, I've also accused them now of blackmailing the president to control his appointments. And so um, all I'm saying is someone needs to do something about these people. Like just because you have a job title doesn't mean you're moral. Just because like we have this thing where it's like, oh, you're military. You must be a very moral person. Yeah, you, you decided to go kill people for a living. I mean, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with being military. I tried to be military. Everyone that is in the military that knows about me knows one thing, I tried to sign up and I'm pretty sure that's how I ended up being CIA is because I tried to join the military and I got rejected because I had asthma, very serious asthma my entire life until like um, probably in my mid twenties where it is when my asthma went away. But um, um, I'm just saying like, I don't, I, I don't think that being in the military makes you a moral person.